Hello and welcome to Splotch Code. This video is part of our Scratch for Beginners series and in this video we will show you how to walk, make your character walk and talk and turn around and also how to get it to st start in a particular position on the screen. Now we're going to use our cat again in this activity. But this time, when he's walking, we want him to actually look like he's walking. And that is done by using different costumes. So we've got our cat selected here. You'll see him down in the sprite section. He's sitting on the stage. If we go over to the tab called Costumes, we'll see that there's Costume 1 and Costume 2. It's the same cat, but he's in a slightly different position. And what that does is if we flick quickly between the two, that gives us him in the two different positions can make it look like he's actually walking. And that's what we're going to use today to give the illusion that he's walking along the screen. Okay, so let's go back to the code and let's have a look how to do that. First of all, we're going to set up a movement command where it are we telling him how to move and move in, and changing costumes so that it looks like he's really walking. Now to do that we need to go to motion and we're going to choose move 10 steps. Then we want him to change costumes. The costume changes are under the looks so this little purple dot go over to there and you'll see here, there is a switch costumes, costume one, costume two, if we were only wanting to one, make one change, or next costume. And that's what we're gonna use for this one because it'll just keep going from costume one to costume two, back to costume one, back to costume two, and keep moving between those. And that's what we want him to do. Now we want him to do the move and change costume quite a few times. So to do that, we need to put a loop on here. We go to controls. Now, often the ones with the videos you would have seen so far, we've used a forever loop. But in this one, we want him to do a set number of times. So instead of choosing forever, we're going to choose the repeat loop. So you can see that one here. We're going to drag that over and put that around. We need Put that around our move 10 steps and next costume. Now I'm actually going to make it do it a little bit more. So let's make it, it's going to be 12 times he does this. So let's have a look at what that looks like. If I click on this command here, you can see it looks like he's walking. That's what we're after. Now this little set of commands, the repeat, 10 steps, next costume. We're going to use this a few times in the code. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to right click on it and hit duplicate and it creates a second lot and I'm going to set that over here because that will save us having to create it over and over again. We'll be able to just copy it from there and reuse it. Right, we're ready to start the actual code. Now to start this particular activity, we are going to find an event and this time we're going to use when the sprite is clicked and that means it will, the game will start, the activity will start when we click on the cat. The next thing we want to do is we want to tell him which way we want him to turn. We are going to get the cat to turn later on in this little activity. And there is there are two ways he can turn. He can either turn so he's going up and down the screen or he's going left and right across the screen. And for what we're going to do today, we want him to walk left and right across the screen. So if we go to the motion section, and we have a look down towards the bottom. There's one command here called set rotation style. And we go and we'll pop that in there. 
and that is going to tell, whenever we tell the cat to turn, he's going to be turning left and right rather than going, turning and sort of going at 90 degrees up, going up the screen. He's going to keep going this way. Now, the next thing we want to do, because he's going to be moving on the screen, each time we start it, we want him to start from the same spot. So we're going to choose a command that tells him where to start. We're going to choose this one that says go to X and Y. And we'll just pop that one in there. Now, the way that Scratch works is our screen has got an X, and it's called an X axis that runs this way. That's your left and right, and a Y, which is going up and down. And so if you're trying to work out how to tell it where to go, you need to know coordinates of where on the screen you want the cat to start from. So for example, we want the cat to start over here, over towards the left-hand side of the screen. So we need to know what that will be. And you can have a bit of a play until you get the right spot. As a guide, the middle of the screen, smack bang in the middle, like there, is zero, zero. So when we get him right in the middle, he's sitting in zero and zero. So it's zero X, because he's right in the middle, and zero Y, because he's right in the middle. If we want him to be moving to the left, it'll be a minus number, because it's going below zero and heading that way. So we minus something. If we want him to go to the right, it'll be a positive number. It'll be plus a number, to, because it's above the zero. Same for up and down. So up, going up this way would be a positive number in the Y column and a negative number if we're wanting to take him down the screen. Right, so what we want him to do is we want him to actually start towards the left hand side. So I'm going to go into our X and I'm going to say I want him to start at minus one 20 and I want him to be in the middle of the screen from the up and down perspective so we'll leave that at zero. Right now we need to tell him what direction we want him to point because at the moment he's foot facing towards the right do we want him facing to the right or the left when we start the game. So we will go and find the command that says point in direction and that'll tell him what direction we want him to go in. At the moment it shows you point in direction 90 so that's the 90 degrees. Now 90 if you click on it it'll show you what direction so that's the right direction we're going to have the cat starting over here and then he's going to be moving across the screen heading towards the right. So that's the perfect, the not, point 90 is the right thing for him. Once he's set up and going in the right direction, what we will do is we will add in a control of wait one second because that always makes things move a bit smoother. So that's our starting. All right, so that we've now got him ready. That'll get him ready to start. And if I click on that, you'll see where he's going to go. By clicking on the commands we've already put together, you'll see where he's going to start from. He's starting over on this left-hand side and he's heading towards the right and that's where we're going to make him walk. So now to make him walk, we're going to use one of our little commands we created that said move 10 steps and next costume so that it looks like he's walking. So let's have a look at what that does. Excellent. Now let's get him talking. We want him to say something to us and by talking we, talk, we have him have the speech bubble pop up and say something to us. Now to do that we need to go to the looks area so again it's that little purple button and you'll see there's one here that says say hello for two seconds. So let's click that into there and that will mean he will get into the right position at the start. He will then move forward, walking, changing his costume so it looks like he's walking. 
and then he will say hello for two seconds. Then we want him to walk a little bit more. So he will have said hello around about the middle of the screen and keep walking. So we want another set of these walking changing costumes repeat. So what we're going to do, we're going to duplicate that one we've got stored over there and we're going to pop it down there. Okay. So now he walks, says hello, and he walks again. Now what we want to do is we want him to turn around so he can come back the other way. Now to do that, we need to find a command that is in the motion area. So going into the blue section and we find the point in direction. So it's the same one we used before, but last time we had it point in direction of 90 degrees. This time we want him to go the other way. So we want it to go minus 90. So you can click on the arrow, you can either type in minus 90 or you can move the hand of the clock to be minus 90. So that will now turn him around and make him point back towards the left. What we want him to do then, we do, we'll put in another weight just so that it stops him for a second before he goes, starts walking back. Okay, and then we want to have another set of this walking one. So again, we can duplicate it, save ourselves the time, we've already created it, and let's click that one on there. So you see now he's walked, said hello, turned around, and he's walked back. Now let's put in another set of words. Let's have him say something else. Let's go to the looks, pick up this say hello for two seconds, and pop it on there again. But this time, instead of saying hello, let's make him say bye. So he'll say bye for two seconds. Okay, and then we will have him walk a little bit more. So let's use use our walking set again. Okay. Shall we have a look how this works? So I'm going to click on our cat. He starts, he walks along, says hello, walks a bit more, turns, walks back, says heart, says bye, and then walks to the end. So in this video, you've learned how to make him walk with looking using costumes to make it look like he's walking along. We've got him talking using speech bubbles, and you've got him turning, and you've got him starting in different positions. So you've got a little bit of an understanding of how to get him to start and the way the X and the Y axes work to get positions on the screen. So why don't you go and have a look at doing this yourself? Go on to Scratch, get a character. You can use the cat if you like, or you can use a different character. As long as it's got a couple, two different costumes so that it makes it look like he's walking, you can have a look at that. And then have your cat walk and say something. You could make him say something different. Doesn't have to be hello and bye. You can say whatever he likes. And you get him to turn and walk back. And so have a go at doing that and see how you go. And then when you're done, you can come back and have a look. We'll have some more videos where we can add you some more exciting things and add some sounds and backgrounds and some really cool things to our games. Thanks for watching. Splotch Code.